is Heather Davis with EdenCultures.com. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm going to try to also get these podcasted for you uh, in the near future, which would be neat. And they'll be archived on the website, possibly on iTunes. Who knows? But I'm going to keep going with biotech today. And right now we got this measles outbreak, you know, measles fever. Uh, everybody's against the anti-vaxxers. It's just Anyway, there's articles everywhere. Measles is hitting adults too. And I read another article that was talking about um, how there's a time period of adults when they weren't getting that booster vax and blah, blah, blah. Um, They were born in the 70s. This woman, she looks like she's very well-meaning. She's saying we need to get vaccinated. Adults born prior to 1957 are considered to be immune. I wonder why. Maybe because, I don't know, there were cyclical outbreaks at that time and they got lifelong immunity. But now if you don't get a second dose, um, you're not going to be immune. That's part of the problem that I've been talking about with vaccines is that an actual outbreak is going to give you more immunity. But here's where the measles vaccine was introduced with that Jerry Lynn strain I've been talking about in 1963. But I want you to look at the mortality. Now, I'm not talking about the incidence of measles. I'm talking about the mortality from measles, okay, which is going to be here in green. Um, It's basically nil at that point. And that's going to bring me to this article that I found. I've never heard of this woman before, but... um, After reading this article, I'm a fan. Cheryl Atkinson, thank you. Um, This article talks about actual statistics here with measles. She does admit that it's, you know, it can be a serious illness, especially if you're an older person or an infant. And that's what I've been talking about with this whole herd immunity thing when I had a video, Herd Immunity Explained, and I go over the vaccine fraud from Merck, or the alleged fraud. But... Um, let's see. So the rate in California is, is according to the CDC, it was still 91% in 2012. I'm going to go ahead and guess that it's lower than that now. And, um, so that could have to do with the outbreak. An analysis of 288 measles cases by the CDC showed these statistics. And these are real statistics and this is reality. Okay, guys, 18% were young and that's going to be the danger right there. Um, a danger zone. Okay, but if you're nursing until one year, then that's going to improve and your child's immune system overall is going to be better. And we all know that. 15% ended up in the hospital, but there were zero deaths and zero brain injury. So let's focus on that. Remember the chart that I just showed you, okay? So it's, people aren't like dying of it. Most prevalent in Ohio, California, and New York. Now, okay, this makes sense because of population density, and this makes sense because of not only population density, but low vaccination rates. There are people that are actually holding measles measles parties in California. Two fatalities in 11 years among 900 measles cases. Two fatalities. Do you know how many people have died from vaccines? I mean, we, we already showed you the medical photos by the CDC. And if you go to the website that I mentioned yesterday, Think Twice, and you and you realize all the SIDS cases that are probably from vaccines, if you, you know, it, and it's sad because when it, your child has a huge red knot from a shot that they just got, extremely high fever, and they're screaming and crying, and these women, these poor women, don't know what's wrong. It's sad. You know, I didn't know it was wrong when I had a fever for a month after I got the hepatitis vaccine. But hey, if you want to go to websites and be a professional troll, come troll with me. La, 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 la. Why don't you go here to liveworld.com forward slash careers, uh, forward slash live world dash moderator. And let's apply and let's troll together. Because there's plenty of trolls doing the other side. (laughs) And honestly, it's not really trolling. What it is, is you're making comments. And you're getting paid. If you're making comments anyway, go ahead and get paid. And I'm going to remind you again of this uh, petition. We the people prohibit any laws mandating the force and requirement of vaccines of any kind. It's doing pretty well. It's about halfway there. And it has until March 6th. So come on, guys. I've already signed it. Um, I think my husband signed it. So let's just 
go with that. We, we don't need forced vaccines. They already don't have liability. Imagine if you have to take them. Is the quality going to go up or down? Come on. Ma basic economics here. Okay. If there's, if the demand is really, really high and there's no choice, there's no free market. Imagine how many, you know, vaccine deaths and side effects and tainted vials there's going to be then and adjuvants and just, and it just hard. it's going to be bad. It's going to be really bad. What we need is for the Jewish community, the rabbis to jump on this train because for some reason, Orthodox Jews are pro-vaccine. I don't really understand that um, because it's, it's obviously non-kosher. They did jump on the bandwagon with the anti-GMO though. So if they've acknowledged that, then why in the world wouldn't they acknowledge vaccines? And it's not impossible to make a kosher vaccine. And I tell you what, you know, I, I believe in the power of Torah so much that I think that if they did make a kosher vaccine, it would probably be safer and more effective. So, and here's a great article, HuffPost Politics, which I would say it's a great article, but you can use it to your advantage, especially if you homeschool. Of course, they're putting it as, you know, oh, okay, they're exposing the evil homeschool kids. But of course, you never hear about an outbreak amongst homeschool kids. That's the irony. They're saying, look at where these homeschool kids don't have to be vaccinated and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, but at the same time, how ironic that when you hear about it, it's at a school. <laughs> you know what I mean? So check this link out. Um, I'm in Texas right now and I didn't even know, but apparently all students, including homeschool students, must be vaccinated, but homeschool students are not required to main records or exemption or submit proof. So what? You know, but I, I just took my kid in for a, a physical and of course he was very healthy and and all of that. And, uh, of course they commented on how smart he is as well. And the doctor said, you know, believe it or not amongst all this drama. And it, this was an on post hospital. I was not expecting this. He said, mother knows best, you know, best. So I got to give props to that doctor. So back to this guys, I'm going to put the link. Here's a great argument, you know, healthsentinel.com. Just look at that because you got to think, Back before people knew about hand washing, and I, I don't remember the exact year I learned about it in microbiology, the guy who said you should wash your hands when you're helping deliver a baby, he was attacked. He was called insane. And I don't remember his name, but you got but it saved lives, right? So think about that. Think about these diseases. Just hand washing. Just hand washing. But look at that. Whooping cough vaccine. So whooping cough as well, that's the one that they say could be this, the SIDS, because these children basically suffocate in their sleep right around the time they get the DTAP. Pertussis is another name for whooping cough. Just look at this. All right. You guys have a great day and uh, stay blessed and, and read your Torah. And just look at it with a scientific eye and try to apply it to today. That's my advice. Just please remember to comment below and like and share and subscribe. And if you if you work for Live World, <laughs> please disclose. Um, no, but seriously, uh, I think that some people on our side of things should sign up for this because there's certainly uh, plenty of them on the other side. All right. Bye bye.